If you want to see how I make great white armor, if you want to see how I make that great white armor grim dark, and if you want to see me futz around with flu paints, then see you after this. I want to put my tower kill team on the table. They need to be playable. I got 20 of them and I got five drones I can switch out. This is a lot of units and this will not be about making the prettiest paint job, but how to make quick white armor, how to make it grim dark quick and how to get some cool effects in with fluo paints. I have a lot of minis to paint, so what's the first thing to do? Yes, cheating. If you answer cheating, you're right. So, black primer, harsh white xenothal, and most of my armor is already done. We're going to finish it in the later steps. Yes, I will be using an airbrush, but you can do it with a spray can. You can do it with dry brushing. It's just about getting the white on. You can use a big makeup brush and stipple it on for a rougher look. You don't need an airbrush, but an airbrush doesn't need to be expensive to do this kind of stuff. And I mean, we already started cheating, so why not continue cheating with the bases? I used three printed basing toppers and then just gave them a dirty brownish wash, let that dry, and then I used different metallic tones like bronze and silver to dry brush it on. Boom, base is ready. So what's next? Well, these are towels and tower are usually blue. So grab your army painter speed paints, grab your instant colors, grab your contrast paints, your express whatever contrast paint you have and just paint those guys blue. That's not even a cheat. I mean, they are literally blue. And well, I think you guessed it. Now we paint all the other parts like pants and metallics and whatnot, because we have a nice zenithal and we have some shadows in there, so using a contrast paint over that is the easiest and fastest solution to get this massive kill team of 20 dudes and 5 drones on the freaking table. So far this paint job is nothing special. We haven't touched the white, so the white armor is fine. We added all the extra paints and now just make them look like they ran straight away from the Nintendo game Splatoon. So we take our fluo colors and paint all the accents, all the energy balls and all the weapons and grenades and all the stuff in fluo. And if you think, wow, this looks really bad, um, yeah, I'm gonna show you how to fix this after this small little ad. One thing became the most important part of my YouTube journey, and that is my community. So first of all, I wanna thank all my patrons, all the people that buy merch, and all the people hanging around the Discord, making it an absolute safe space for painters that inspires and drives people to paint more and be gentle to each other. If you wanna join this community, it's absolutely free. Just follow the link in the description. So you waited for my Patreon ad and now you think I'm showing you the solution, but uh, nope, I'm just gonna tell you I did the same stuff to the drones with more metallics. But important tip, if you don't glue the drones together like instantly, you can use them and switch them around and basically get every version of the drones to play in your games. And I think that's a worthy tip. And now back to the solution. Okay, let's make sure they look proper stupid. And um, yes, they do. Look at them. They look like straight off a stupid video game. Let's fix that. And there's just one way to do that. Grime to the rescue. Use whatever you have. Use an oil wash, grime, whatever you have. Enamels, oils. I don't care. <laughs> Make a wash and just proper darken them down. Don't be afraid of that stuff. It's easily removable. Just mix it quite thin and slobber it all over the miniature. But not too thin though. Since all of this is a experiment kind of paint job and I'm trying to get a lot of minis on the table, this is the perfect way for people to lose their fear of oil washes. I mean, look at this. You are basically painting black all over your paint job and I get that people find that scary. And when I did my first oil wash, I found that pretty scary too because 
I did it over a pretty good paint job instead of like a quick, funny, army making video type of paint job. But hey, this stuff comes off so easy. And no, I haven't used the varnish. If I want clearer lines, then I will use a gloss varnish and will do more oil wash or enamel wash them. But I wanted the layers to combine. I really wanted the oils to seep into the acrylic layer so that it gives a nice gradient. And then I just take a sponge and wipe it off. And when I want a cleaner look on some areas, I just put some thinner on my cotton swab or on my makeup tool or makeup sponge or whatever I have there and take it off real clean. This kind of works even hours after you put on the oil wash. So nothing to be scared of. Okay, let's try something new. I never use decals or decals or whatever you would want to call them. And I never use Microset or Microsaw. But I saw a nice video from Eons of Battle and it looked so simple. So I'm just dipping a little bit of Microset onto the place where I want to place the decal. Then I soak the decal in water and just slide it onto the miniature with a brush. And that works really easy and really well. I don't know why I was scared of it. I think it's so nice that in this hobby you can always try something new. By the way, you just work it around with a brush until it sits and then you dab it down slightly with a towel. That's it. Basically, this stuff is on the mini now. But to make it look even better, you take your microsol solution and you just brush it slightly over the decal. This will now soften and combine the decal and the mini even more. This slightly dissolves it and makes it stick to the form anyway. It I don't know how it works, but it just looks way better. Give it a few hours to dry, put on the varnish, and the mini is done. My conclusion for this, <laughs> not everything has to be display. Putting a set of dudes, 20, 25 dudes, on the table and making it quick and using cheats like oil washes and airbrushes, that's totally fine, because sometimes it's about the game and not about the paint job. It doesn't have to be golden demon quality all the time. And if you can take something from this video, then my message, please enjoy the hobby your way. If you want to put out a massive army and just want to put them on the table, there's nothing wrong with that. Okay, my dudes, I hope you enjoyed this video about my little towel kitty and how I painted them. And you could find some cool use for fluo paints in the future. I have another video in my idea bunker space thingy where I will show more usage uh, for flu paints and traditional painting, um, but that will be a while. In the meantime, please subscribe, comment, like this video to help me grow my channel. And if you want to join an awesome community, please feel free to follow the Discord link. It's absolutely free. So I may have forgotten to record this take on the island, so here it is, the grand reveal. But for now, I hope to see you next time here on The Bear and the Brush.